I'm Mark Gross here at Chiller, and we are here Halloween weekend. I am here with the very good looking, the actress extraordinaire, Miss Louise Fletcher. How are you, ma'am? I'm fine, you thanks. You look wonderful. Thank you very much. You are such an accomplished actress in so many diverse roles and career. How did you really get the start in acting? How did you know that you really wanted to do that, ma'am? I think it started when I was really very, very young. Yes, My mother, um, loved the movies and we go together and because she was deaf I had to explain a lot of things to her about That's what nice. was happening and I sort of got the fever and uh, you know the need for her approval and sure. you know that's what actors want yes, mainly is approval so I knew I wanted to be an actress from let's say age 11 and wow. I never changed my mind. Good, good. Such up a great career. Up, except for here lately. I'm just yeah. <laughs> you were yeah. fantastic in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Thank you. Brainstorm, Christopher Walken. What would you say are one or two of your really most favorite rewarding roles that you had? Well, I did love Brainstorm very much because I loved the character I played uh, in that movie. And um, it had the potential to be um, much more successful movie than it was, but yes, ma'am. I think fate dealt it a a very sad yes, hand. I know, but it, it's such an accomplished film. So many yeah. and Christopher Walk and Natalie Wood. I mean, right. and you. I mean, top billing. And Doug Trumbull yes, was a wonderful effects. director and a wonderful effects yes, guy. Yes, ma'am. So he did it. It's a great job. I loved working on that. Good. And of course, Cuckoo's Nest is one of my favorite movies and yes. gave me my real break and. Um, You're well known for that because one flew over yeah. the that's I 75 it came out. It's an icon. You are an icon yeah. now. That's history. what they tell me. <laughs> How is it meeting fans and getting one on one feedback and well, signing? I, I can't believe people are come out and are excited to meet me and you know, I I'm not, I I don't often get recognized in the street. Oh, okay. I sort of blend in with everybody <laughs> else. I mean somebody will say do you work in my bank? <laughs> Do you teach my kid? <laughs> That's good that you blend in. But you're getting feedback here and it must feel wonderful for you. Yeah, it's, good. it's great. Good. Now, do you have any hobbies, things that you like to do when you're, when you're not working? Um, what do you enjoy doing? Well, I travel and I, I spend a lot of time in France because I have an old house, an old barn that I made into a yes, very livable space yes, good. over there and uh, I read and I see friends and good. I love to cook. Good. And Will you continue to come out and do shows and meet your fans? I think so. Good. I like it. Good. Yeah. Anything you'd like to promote in the magazine uh, that you'd like to tell readers and well, fans? I just finished an arc on uh, Shameless. Outstanding. And I play William Macy's mother. Wow. And she is so naughty <laughs> that uh, it might explain why he's so naughty. <laughs> Very good. Well <laughs> put. You. Louise Fletcher, you're an icon in our career. Bless your heart. 